What's up, y'all? V Show here. So, let me update you on what happened with the whole bus thing. For those of y'all that saw my story, uh, this transportation company that George Washington Carver in Richmond, Virginia, uses sucks donkey balls. So, um, Wednesday morning, supposedly there was a power outage and they ended up rerouting the buses. Now, this is after I called because we had been out there for like 20 minutes, 25 minutes, and then it gone into a half an hour. And I'm like, what the? Mm -mm. So I ended up calling and she, the woman, I'm not even going to mention her name. I want to, but I'm not going to. But she works at the school at the transportation, on the transportation side anyway. So she said that they ended up having to reroute the buses because there was a power outage. Now, this is Monday morning, Tuesday morning. No, no, no. It was Wednesday morning because that was the day I got sick. So Wednesday morning. Because we're standing, standing. That particular corner gets all the wind. You know, they there's no skyscrapers over here like there is in New York. So all the wind is right there on that corner. So it could be like when I left out today, it was 70 degrees. Something told me put on a, a hoodie and another jacket. And I'm glad I did. So... Me and the other parent were waiting, 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 waiting. She ended up calling this Miss Blank Blank, told her totally something different. She said something about, oh, yeah, they're going to be coming on a different bus. But she didn't say why. Now, there's a language barrier, so maybe that's why the other parent didn't, you know, maybe she didn't mention that part. But 20 minutes after that, I call because I'm like, all right, I'm cold. I was feeling great when I left the house. Now, all this shit is starting to be like, ah, bitch, yeah, I'm coming back. I call. Miss Blank Blank answers. And then, of course, she put me on hold like she always does because she has to check with the driver. Supposedly, she, now, she, she says that the driver told her he got to the stop and nobody was there. And I said, well, Miss Blank Blank, this man's lying because I've been here since 340. The other parent got here at 345. So, you know, that conversation ended up not being really good because I told her her com communication sucks. If you know that the school bus is going to be late, you need to contact the people that are waiting out there. All right. But anyway, the bus comes because she said he was four minutes away, five minutes away. Bus comes. And now the one that's driving the bus is this old ass man. Now, I have nothing against senior citizens getting a paycheck on. But if you're if you are inept at your job, you don't need to be doing that shit. When we first moved down here and we had her schooling straight and they knew we were going to need a, a, a school bus because of where we lived, we had all kinds of problems getting her picked up in the morning, getting her dropped off. It was, it was ridiculous. It was ridiculous. At this point, I don't know if it's the school. I don't know if it's the transportation company that they use. I don't know if it's a combination of the two, but it was horrendous. Horrendous, right? So, we ended up finally getting all of that straight. She had a regular bus driver, and then she got pregnant. <laughs> Yay, congrats for you, but sucks for us because right around the time she got pregnant, they ended up switching bus companies. So, I'm thinking, okay, well, maybe it's going to be better. No. This woman's been out on maternity leave, I want to say, two to three weeks. This whole week has been hell. The bus has either been late in the morning or late in the afternoon. So this afternoon, I put out a story waiting for the bus. What the is going on with the bus? The man finally pulls up. 
And so me and the other, of course, I started the shit. And I was like, excuse me, what time did you get here? Because we've been here since 3.40. Well, I've been here since 3.40. She got here a couple of minutes later. You never came by, but you told Miss Blank Blank that you didn't see anybody. What time did you get here? The man said, oh, it was early. And I said, well, why would you stop someplace that you're not supposed to be early and then not tell nobody and then just take off? Why would you do that? Why would you do that, dude? Every time we have a problem, a lot of the times it's you. I mean, so yeah, that's how that ended. Thank goodness they have spring break, break next week. But I'm going to take this weekend and do some um, some digging. Because I was in contact with the school board when we first got here because of the issue with the busing in the, when we first got here, it was, it was a problem. It was crazy. And I was like, you know, anybody that relocates down here is going to have an issue. Anybody that moves, if you are at this designated stop and now you move, your family moves and you have to be at another stop, you're going to have a problem. So I wanted to get on the school board to address that because come on, give me a break. It's a long, drawn-out process, y'all. Now, from what I remember when you were, when I was in New York, if you were interested in joining a school board, you had access. You could attend the meetings. You could do this. You could do that. Not down here, honey. When you are on the school board, it's because you were elected to be on the school board. So that means that people got to know who the hell you are. So that's the first brick wall that regular folks like me can't get in secondly if there's something that you want to address you have to submit it in your request in writing and then if they approve you you get like three minutes to speak at the meeting now i remember going through this when we first got down here but then things straightened up so i was like you know what I'm going to leave it for now. No, mm -mm. not now. No, they're going to they gonna get sick and tired of hearing from me because this is ridiculous. Thank goodness the weather was not that bad because it was just really windy on that corner. It just kicked up my shit. But imagine if it was snowing. Morning or afternoon. Who the fuck wants to be standing out there in the snow waiting 45 minutes for a bus? that came early and didn't see anybody and left. I'm just imagining, okay, there's so many things here that's wrong with that. First of all, my granddaughter and the other little boy that gets off, what did they think? Nobody's here. They don't know what time it is. All they know is that grandma and mommy aren't here. What are you doing to that kid? Secondly, school lets out at 3. By the time he dropped them off, it was 4.30. You're taking the chance that somebody doesn't have to use the bathroom on that bus. And these are kids, y'all. These are, these are kids. Thirdly, Thank goodness that I'm in relatively good health and the mom that waits for me is younger than I am. But the, the, I, imagine if grandma that has a walker or a cane or something like that has to go pick up the kid from the bus stop or take the kid to the bus stop. Look at what you're doing to them. The mom that waits with me, she, in the morning, she drops, um, you know, waits for the bus, puts them on a bus, and then she goes to work. In the afternoon, she leaves her job to come pick him up and then takes him back to the job. I'm glad she has a job that lets her do that because when I was working at VDH, they let me leave, pick her up, take her, to, you know, bring her here, get her settled, and go back. 
for like, because it was only like an hour or something I had to stay. And it was right there. So she has been late going back. And she was telling me today, she's like, my boss left early today to go home. So I'm, I'm glad I don't have to explain this to him or her, whoever it is. But you are affecting a lot of people's lives when you do not communicate. So this is to George Washington Carver Elementary School. I'm going to find out how I can get this addressed at the school board meeting because this is too much. Y'all are doing a lot and you're doing a lot to not do anything. The communication. Are you kidding me? In the morning, Wednesday morning, when we were waiting out there forever, when I first got sick because of that, there was a, supposedly a power outage. So wait a minute. There was a power outage and you had to reroute the buses. You didn't communicate with us. You have a bunch of kids that you have to pick up along the way before you get to us. And no, I think we're the last stop. What did you tell all these people? You didn't communicate. I know that there were three of us waiting. It was me, the mom that I told you about, and then there's another kid that started. I guess she moved to the area and she started coming there. Her and her parent or guardian went home. So you got kids missing school because of your shit. Look at all of those things I just noticed right now that I've just mentioned of whom you're affecting with the lack of communication. This is ridiculous, y'all. RPS, do better. George Washington Carver Elementary School, do better. Whatever the name of the transportation company that you're using, do better. Your communication sucks. Oh, to top it off, today when I spoke with Miss Blankety Blank Blank, when I called transportation and she told me that the driver said that he stopped by here and nobody was here, so he left and he's going back to the school. Do I want to meet them at the school? I don't have cab money like that. I don't have a car. If I had a car, I wouldn't be going through this with y'all. I would have went to pick her up. What a dumbass question. But anyway, yeah, I just wanted to give y'all an update on how that went. Be sure out.